So we got Charles and White going off on uh Sexy Red and Wack 100. I don't know what it's about, bro. I don't keep up with Sexy Red. I ain't gonna lie to you. And Wack 100 is just Wack 100, bro. You feel me? Uh, of course, say cheese interview. All that being said, man, ain't nothing really to be said. So let's get into it. See what's to it. <laughs> Lastly, Wack 100 says you just need to shave it off, man. Give it up. Your hair, you're going bald. Go bald. Give it up. Um, yeah, man, Wack 100, he just posted that on his Instagram today. I know your Instagrams have been deleted, but uh, he said it's time to give it up. Oh, uh, like I tell all. And Sexy Red agrees with him, too. Oh, uh, uh, Sexy Red says she liked the raw dog. I bet it was plenty of nappy head niggas. Uncles and everything else. <laughs> Y'all dogging that little old pussy. Them hoes ain't looking at no how. Let the word get out of nigga and fuck good. Girl, eat pussy good. Nah, they want that bell head. Nah, they want that bell head. They don't care nothing about no motherfucking bald head. That nigga with them waves. Uh, nah, nah, nigga like Wack 100 with that bald head. <laughs> that lay on his belly. <laughs> hollering on the phone. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, he said this man laying on his belly, bro. It be crazy when somebody say something and you like, and that shit just pop up in your mind, bro. And you imagine a fat motherfucker laying on his stomach, just yelling on the phone, bro. Matter of fact, I'm about to know what he talking about when he be fucking recording them Instagram, them Instagram them stories and posting on Instagram, bro. Oh, uh, I'm like, I'm like granddad and them, homie. Go back and watch Fred Sample. Look how Fred Sample was on over with his hair. Go back and look at Don King when he was young. Look out! Look at James Evans on Good Time. Look how them niggas. Look at George Jefferson. Nigga, you just grow old as a man. This is the look of a man. Nigga, when I want to go out on Friday night, I might shave it. But nigga, I'm gonna embrace this shit, nigga. And I'm, yeah, no, nah, I ain't shaving shit. And why that nigga watching me? I don't watch him. He really Ace. wanna be my friend. Fake as hell, right? Fake as hell. It's crazy that he said this. And then this before the uh, Arizona shit with the Mayweather, he up the score and everybody. And then Wack 100 all of a sudden praising him, saying he, he don't back now, he can't be messed with. He do want to be his friend, bro. He right. I ain't gonna cap. Really hey, want to be my friend. <laughs> you think so? I know so. Cause he talk about me all the time. He keep me relevant. He and, admires you. He and, admires you. And, and tell Sexy Red, uh, little old bitch ain't nothing but a calm bucket. Hey, she posted she posted a few videos going viral natural, and she got a great feedback. That ain't got nothing to do with her <laughs> pussy being contaminated. No, no, no. You said that you want to see her perform without her lace front, and that was a response he, to you. He said she contaminated, bro. Bro. Bro, he funny as hell, bro. She didn't perform. She ain't get on stage and do that. She did it in the car. Get your motherfucking ass on stage and do it. Fuck that car shit. Ain't yeah, now nah, get on stage and do it. And let's see if you can do it that confidently. It's easy to do it right there. Get on stage with that natural nappy nigga hair with that same motherfucking confidence you do with that European hair. I bet you can't do it. So let me just say this. Any broad that's running around bragging about getting raw dog, that little old pussy ain't nothing but a calm bucket. Everybody calming in it. It's a calm bucket. Not only that, nigga, that motherfucking pussy go keep a bacterial infection. Niggas don't wash their nuts consistently for you to let everybody raw dog you. <laughs> and that pussy go be a little funky. Letting everybody raw dog you. So when I heard her say, Gee, like I said, I don't keep up with Sexy Red, but do y'all think she capping? Just to get like, you know, go viral all the time. Like, damn, she just saying like shockful shit. Or oh, y'all think she dead ass is, bro? Hey, that I said, no, nah, she a disgusting little old motherfucker. She stay at the clinic. Yeah, 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 yeah. She stay. She got to, homie, because that's nothing that a woman would want to promote. Especially when you know when you was doing it young. Don't have the young girls doing this, mama. They already got the 11, 12, and 13-year-old promoting the HP human papillonia shit to the babies. 
got to, they got to take the vaccine. That shit was unheard of when I was a kid. But I remember back in 98 or 99, Oprah Winfrey had a talk show about young girls giving oral sex. Now, I thought they were lying to this little bitch come along. Wait, 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 wait. Oprah Winfrey had a talk show about young girls giving oral sex. Now, I thought they were lying to this little bitch come along. <laughs> to this little bitch here come along. Hey, man. Uh, great interview. Um, I hope you get everything you worked for. I've been here since the beginning. Um, shit, you were working before me. You were going live daily before I, I even came around. So uh, I've been I've um, been fucked over at every level. And you ain't seen me lose yet. I yeah. haven't not got what I was supposed to get. If I'm supposed to get an ass whooping, I'm gonna get it. If I'm supposed to get killed, I'm gonna get it. But I haven't not got what I'm supposed to get. I, I keep elevating. Uh, and they keep making me think, nigga, on my toes. They won't let me relax and get comfortable. Say, oh, I made it. Now nah, they keep making me work, nigga. Uh, but as I'm working, I'm coming back teaching. And that's the beauty of it, nigga. Niggas, people around me secretly got shit that don't nobody know. Uh, because the higher I go, I know it ain't just about the money, homie. It's the experience, the knowledge, the relationships, and the resources. Facts. I be saying, bro, I had a conversation with somebody, bro. And I was like, black people, to me, we really lack resources. We don't know how to do X, Y, and Z. We don't know who can help us get to X, Y, and Z. We don't be knowing who to call. We don't know what paperwork to get in order. We don't know how to get the money in order. Unless for some of us, not all of us, it's like illegally, bro. So resources is like really damn near should be top three. You feel me? Resources. So, uh, I'm playing dumb, homie, and I'm finna stop in a minute. But it's fun. It's fun. Because it, it, it allows me, it, it prevents me from being hurt in a major way. It prevents me from being hurt in a major way, homie. Uh, I used to show up playing smart. And it used to cause a lot of problems on jobs, at school. Uh, everybody play on the dumb motherfucker. So I'm going to keep playing the dumb motherfucker. And, and they're going to keep uh, unintentionally teaching me what I need to know. All right, man. That was Charles White, man. I like the ending, the ending bro. I hope y'all made it to the ending, for real, for real. Because um, that's another conversation I have with somebody about Charles White. Like, I rock with Charleston White. I say this all the time. No, I don't always agree with him, but that's just regular. You ain't gonna always, you ain't gonna always agree with what somebody say, you feel me? But I personally like that he plays dumb. I like how he act on the internet, and I don't want him to stop simply because once he gets serious, they gonna start taking him serious, and then that's when shit gonna go left. If it's true about the little conspiracies of, you know, everybody like be protect him, protect him, protect him because he he giving out too much to the world. That's when the so called higher power people gonna come looking for him because now he's serious. But if he keep being how he is and he keep touching, you know what I'm saying, certain people hearts and shit. You feel me? It it'll be all his slowly but surely, and then they'll be ignoring him on the way like ah. Uh, he a goofy, his kind barely like him and shit like that. But once he gets serious, they gonna start taking him serious. And gonna want him out the way, if that's true. You know what I'm saying? I think he's straight, but I prefer him to keep being like this. This this just me. And still throwing his knowledge in that at the same time. That's just what I think, though. You know, to each his own, though. But let me know what y'all think. And catch you on the next reaction.